Hi, this video is to discuss the mean and median of a data set and to be able to compare the mean and the median. So first we're going to look at this set of numbers and determine the mean and the median. The mean is the average. To find the average, we first add all of the numbers. So 13 plus 11 plus 16 plus 12 plus 42 and 8. Just upon initial looking at this, these numbers, which number seems a little out of place, a little bit uh, bigger than all the other numbers, we would definitely say that 42 is a little bit out of place because it's a lot larger than all the other numbers. So I'm going to add 13 and 11 is 24. 16 and 12 is 28. 42 and 8 is 50. 24 and 28 is 52. And 52 plus 50 is 102. So first I'm going to find the sum. The sum is 102. Then I'm going to divide that sum by the number of numbers that I added up. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers in this data set. So 102 divided by 6 would allow me to find the mean, otherwise known as the average. 6 goes into 10 one time, and 6 goes into 42 seven times. So the mean is equal to 17. And if you just compare that real quick, look at the mean in comparison to these numbers. The mean is larger than every number in this set all because of that outlier. That 42 is bringing the mean up. It is skewing. It is a, a value that skews the mean because you're taking all the numbers into account when you find the mean and their value. And that 42 made this sum a lot higher than if that 42 wasn't there. Let's just look at what would the mean be without the 42. So if I take 102 and subtract 42, I would get 60. So if we just did the mean of 13, 11, 16, 12, and 8, we would have 60 divided by 5, which is 12. So that's a pretty big difference in the mean when you removed only one value. All right, let's look at the median. To be able to find the median, I want to put the uh, numbers in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to start with 8. I'm going to kind of cross that off when I use it. And then I see 11 and 12 and 13, 16, and 42. Now, 42 is in our list. But notice when we talk about the median, we're not actually using the value of 42 necessarily. It's just one of the one of the six numbers in our list. So to find the median, and there are six numbers, so I need the number that would be in the middle when there's an even number of numbers. Six is an even number. I find the average of the two numbers in the middle. Because if I use 12, there would only be two less and three above. If I use 13, there would be two above and three less. We want the absolute middle. So we find the average of 12 and 13 by adding and dividing by two, and we get a median of 12.5. Now, 12.5 is much more in line with most of the numbers. The, the 42 did not affect that 12.5 very much because we're not actually using the value of 42. It's just a higher number in our data set, 
that we cross off when we're finding the median. So the median was not greatly impacted by the outlier. The mean was greatly impacted by the outlier. Let's look at what would the median be without the 42. So I'm going to again list the numbers, but this time I'm not going to include the 42. An odd number of numbers, so 12 is exactly in the middle, 2 less and 2 greater, so 12 would be the median. Compare the medians, very similar, with versus without the outlier. Compare the means, very different, 12 versus 17, very different, all because this mean, uh, this, this um, outlier of 42 greatly impacts the mean. So when you're comparing the mean and the median, if your data has an outlier, then the median is the best me measure of center. If your data does not have an outlier, then you can use the mean or the median. But if your data does have an outlier, then the median is the one that isn't affected much by one outlier. Thank you. Have a good day.